What's up everybody, your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and today I'm actually going to be getting real personal with you guys, letting you guys know a little bit about me and you know what kind of things keep me motivated as an entrepreneur, you know, day in and day out. For those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome on over. This is the VFAM and a community of people that are striving to do a lot more than what society has offered us to do. So rather than the whole, you know, go to school, get a job, climb our way up all the ladder to then hopefully retire and then, then enjoy our lives, we're finding other ways to do it that are much more efficient and also more, much more impactful to the world. You know, whether you're just getting started, whether you're already an entrepreneur, you know, you're already successful, it is not easy to consistently stay motivated. And I've talked to numerous people in all kinds of stages. I have friends that are already the same level as me, they're entrepreneurs making a good amount of money. And I've also talked to mentors of ours that are obviously a lot more successful and are making a shit ton of money. For them, obviously, they have a lot more, you know, higher goals, higher aspirations. So it's a little bit easier I would say for them to stay motivated but when you're just getting started and when you're in the middle of it it's not the easiest thing if you guys want to see a lot more videos like this where I share a lot more personable stuff like you know what keeps me going what keeps me motivated make sure you leave me a thumbs up make sure you hit that like button also leave me a comment what you guys do to stay motivated if you've done any of the things that I'm about to speak on because I love to always get some feedback and know you know kind of what works for other people because I'm always experimenting a little bit of background about me I am no trust fund kid I don't don't come from a you know a rich background I, I actually come from the opposite I was actually raised with a single mom and I was also raised in one of the poorest parts of Boston it's called Dorchester it's like one of the most dangerous parts of Boston let's just say it was quite a journey growing up there and obviously with the single mom wasn't easy because again I had to watch my mom work tons of hours just to put food on the table and you know to really barely make ends meet seeing my mom you know obviously work so hard to you know give me a better life give me the opportunity that she she didn't have so from a young age I automatically felt like I owed my mom a ton of course you know for all the work that she put into you know help me out support me and you know get help me get to the point where I am now obviously without her I wouldn't be here when I was growing up you know, I didn't have my father to participate too much in my life and uh, that didn't make things any easier right so me and my mom obviously you know my mom is actually from the Dominican Republic that's where I'm from I am Dominican shout out to all my Latinos if I have any of you guys watching feel free to leave me a comment let me know where you guys are from I always like to you know engage and see who uh, what kind of audience I have you know watching and, and obviously supporting me so while growing up my mom actually has this huge fear of driving don't ask me why I don't know why I'm the exact opposite obviously I love fast cars I love Lambos I uh, you know I'm, I'm a huge car guy but my mom's the exact opposite she doesn't really like fast cars she actually disagrees with me trying to get this Lambo like come on mom you're not gonna want me to get a Lambo come on she's very old school so for her technology is everything and she has to stay cutting edge like that wasn't easy she actually never had a driver's license right so we basically had to walk everywhere everywhere we had to go we had to walk there or take public transportation that was also a huge part of my motivating factor and the reason why is because numerous days where I would have to walk one or two hours multiple times a week for any of you guys that are still taking public transportation I am with you guys I know it is rough so this is use that to drive you to obviously become successful because I know that it isn't easy so what we would do is we would go out you know get into public transportation wait for it my mom would actually get impatient and just want to walk so obviously me you know, I have no choice but to just, you know, obviously walk with her. I'm not just going to stay and wait while my mom wants to walk. So we would literally have to walk miles. And I'm talking about in all kinds of weather. For those of you guys from the East Coast that are watching, you guys know that it is cold. You know, it could be really hot. And the weather, you kind of never know because in Boston, like, or in the East Coast, the weather can, you know, in the morning it could be super cloudy, but by the end of the day, it can end up being super cold. So you kind of never know what's going to happen. But one of my biggest goals that I had during this time where I was walking so much was, you know, really getting a car. I wanted to get a car. That way me and my mom did not have to walk anymore. I was sick and tired of it. So from there, that's actually what got me interested on learning how I can make money. How can I get a car, right? So I was about 14 at the time. I tried to get a job. I couldn't really work anywhere that I wouldn't get hired. I applied to multiple different retail locations. I applied to Burger King or Apostle, all these different places to get jobs. And I just wouldn't get hired. Obviously I was super young and I didn't, I didn't really have much skills. The first thing I decided to do with my first little gig that I had as an entrepreneur, I was selling cell phones. Some of you guys that follow me on social media may have heard about, you know, this story, but I would find phones on Craigslist. And from there I would go back and forth with these people for at least 20 minutes to maybe get like 
$50 off of what they were selling the phone for. And then I would go right back on Craigslist, take better pictures of the phone, repost it, and try to make like an extra $100 or $50 profit. I probably sold anywhere from like 20 or 30 phones, so I, I made a decent amount. It took me a while to do that, so obviously I couldn't buy a car right off, the, right off the jump because I had other expenses. But then what happened is I got a job. After working that job, I was able to then finally get my car, so luckily that's how my, that's how I actually how I got my first car. From there what happened is I kind of reached the cap. I needed to find other ways to you know, really get motivated and, and figure out other ways to be successful. That's actually when I got started with learning about you know books, conferences, mentors. I actually got involved in a sales job. Now in sales, and specifically door-to-door -door sales it was not easy my daily routine before going out there and starting my day as a door-to-door -door salesman involved driving obviously on my way to what we call turf which is the area where I was gonna work in collectively I was always using see my mom as a motivating factor how much she worked growing in one of the poorest parts of Boston and really being around that environment really drove me a ton to obviously want a lot more and you know be successful in all this all these great things and obviously having to walk you know, my whole life, that obviously motivated me as well to like get a car and things like that. My motivation to the next level was one of the first times, uh, I was actually the first summer after my first few months of doing door to door sales, I had saved up some money. It wasn't anything crazy. I think I had maybe like an extra three to $4,000 saved up. And I decided to take that money that I had and go on uh, go to see my family in Dominican Republic, actually take my mom over there to Dominican Republic, completely pay for her flight, take care of everything. This was my next biggest uh, motivating factor because now I really found a deep inner purpose and really motivated me, you know, pretty much up to date because the fact that I was able to go back home with three or $4,000 uh, or go back to Dominican Republic and actually show my family a really good time, experience things that they have never done before, just at, was absolutely incredible feeling for me personally. I don't know, some of you guys watching probably can probably relate if you've already been able to do so. This was huge, it really like opened my eyes. And after that, you know, I pretty much used that as motivation to obviously keep working for you know, a lot higher of a purpose than just obviously making money. Obviously my mom is obviously one of my biggest motivating factors, but now my family, you know, is also like huge, right? Because now I know that if I do well, I can also, you know, do well for others and provide more for, you know, for other people. Uh, this it was crazy because today actually uh, Drake's music video on God's plan dropped and watching him do things like, you know, go random places and just, you know, give people money and, you know, donate to schools. You know, he had this, you know, this cool clip where he went to the grocery store or a corner store and told everybody that everything in the store is completely free for them to get whatever they want. Anything you guys want in the store is free, so grab whatever you guys want. You know, doing things like that is super fulfilling and super motivating and is what keeps people and keeps me for sure and maybe some of you guys watching, you know, wanted to excel and really do more. So I hope that wasn't too personal for you guys. I just thought, again, since I'm, you know, getting a lot more consistent with YouTube and I'm going to be uh, obviously building a community and a family with you guys, I'd share a little bit about my story and how I stay motivated day in and day out because, again, this is important. You have to know the things you're working for. You have to have goals. And, again, you have to stay motivated because if not, then obviously you're not going to be getting things done and you know you're not going to have that aspiration so i hope you guys got value from this video if you did of course show the boy some love leave me a thumbs up you know leave me some comments below let me know what motivates you guys what things you guys are working for what goals you guys have and of course if you haven't already make sure you subscribe join the v fam and i'll see you guys in the next video peace